Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com and in this video I just wanted to give you a little organizational tip that really helps me and it goes along with a previous video that I showed about saving these strips of cardstock that you cut, neutrals especially, that you can cut uh, off of a um, uh, eight and a half by 11 piece and I'll try to have the link to the video here if you miss that but there's a good way to store these at least for me it is I have this little just simple uh, three drawer plastic bin here just right to the right of my work area so that I can when I'm creating here I can just reach over and grab what I need and so in this top drawer I have these bits and pieces that I've cut off in smaller pieces of neutral cardstock for when I'm stamping um, the images to either color or uh, put on the front of a card or another project. And I can just pull from here. I know the neutrals are there. And then in the second drawer, I have larger pieces like for the insides of the cards. And I also have like specialty paper scraps. Like these are scraps of watercolor paper. And then I have some foil, some glimmer paper and vellum that I know is here if I'm working on a project and I need something like that. In the bottom drawer, I keep bits and pieces of cards that were started and never finished so that when I am looking to create something or maybe need some inspiration, I can just pull from here and start with that and complete a card. Okay, I hope that little tip helps you. It sure helps to have a place to keep these strips that you cut handy so that when you're stamping, you can just grab them for a sentiment or an accent piece on your cards or paper crafting projects. If you have any questions, please let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.